Did you bring a cup of yum yum with you today? I wonder. I have a beautiful iced cup of iced coffee from this morning. And um, I just caution you if you're listening along or listening on the replay, there's some noises going on in the background. You may recall uh, when we first began our morning magics back in March, the house next door was being torn down and we had um, bulldozer crazy noises. So the bulldozer or the, you know, whatever that thing is called, it's back. The digger, the digger man is back. I was out there talking to him this morning and I realized like, I really would like a ride on the digger. I just want to do one dig. Just let me sit and just pull the lever one time. So we'll see if that happens. I'm gonna set my intention and I will let you know. <laughs> so if you hear some noises, that's probably what's going on. Um, and hopefully the, the love rises above that, right? So good morning, Artie. Good morning, Mel. Um, hi, Roxanne. Hi, Ellen. Okay, <laughs> beauty in blue. Thank you. Hi, Paula cup of coffee in hand. Do you have something? I vote we begin. So welcome to Morning Magic. It's me, Robin. We have some beautiful guidance that came through today. I'm very excited about the message today. But first, you know, here's to us. Here's to the light. We continue to shine. Here's to how we continue to show up. Here's to the beauty we continue to choose. Um, here's to the love. Here's to the peace, here's to the ease, here's to the practice. I love seeing you all greeting each other. Say hello, this is your love posse. Cheers. Cheers. Checking those fingernails. I was out in the garden a bit this morning, sneaking around, having some fun. <laughs> if that happens, I will do my best, you know, that would be hilarious. The guy's very nice. And Tanya, he's wearing a big orange safety shirt today. Orange is our spirit color. I really believe that. Um, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. So friends, did you hug yourself this morning? Did you grab yourself in your own arms? Did you? If not, you can do it now. Hi, honeys. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, thank you. I love this ring, too. You know, it's a funny thing, too, because I bought myself this ring about 20 years ago. A present to myself, celebrating something important, and it always felt too big for me. And just like last week or the week before, I put it on. And I don't mean big like it didn't fit. I mean like too something but suddenly there's this energy you know and i feel like i'm embodying it differently so thank you for saying that it's a it's a raw um peridot yeah i love it okay so back to did you hug yourself this morning did you take yourself into your own arms and say here we go here we are here's this day Here's this light, here's this love, here's this truth, here's this reality, here is this um, new experience, here is this new choice, here is this new day. If you didn't, or you didn't say that, let's have a do-over right now. There's never too uh, much hugs for one body, am I right? In fact, this morning I woke up and I was watching number one hug himself. And, you know, in the trajectory of a person's life, to see them come to that place where they're doing the stuff, their wife, just think about this, you guys, you partners out there, partners, to like be doing it for yourself, taking something on that you know, it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's huge, it's huge. And not about me, I mean, it's huge for him. Taking it in, receiving. So he was so cute. And all the back of his hair was like sticking up with morning bedhead. 
and he was just doing it. It's so beautiful. So he says, sends his regards, by the way. He's um, going for his three week checkup. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he's been healed from his bladder cancer for about, I don't know, it's maybe eight, nine months now, totally clean, clean, clean. And they check his blood work every three weeks to see, which is kind of fun because we're always tweaking the nutrition and the supplements and then we get to look at all the fun little results um, and see what's happening. So good morning. Good morning, Caroline. Hello, Roshni. Yeah, so good healing wishes. Oh yeah, for reals, like vibrational excellence. For sure, that is Jeff. So thank you, I will pass those along. Um, I know he wore his superhero t-shirt, so that's always a good sign. He has many, but he had one on. I think it was the Wolverine one. So, hug. Then, did you choose a word of the day for yourself today? Did you pick something lovely? I wonder. I would love to know. I would love to know what you chose for yourself. You know, these things are not... I would say... A lot of us are coming out of a whole life of growing up being teased for doing things that are weird or different or goofy. I'm not calling it goofy, but you know, those people in our lives, there's been resistance and pushback and there's such tremendous power, isn't there, in choosing to go your own way, to really know what works for you and let it be good. Let it be good. Um, yeah, I'm loving, still loving that from this week's podcast. Let it be good, you know, call it good. It is good. So it really doesn't matter what they say. It matters what you know and what you, um, energetically are channeling. Isn't that the truth? I mean, think about that for yourself. It's the truth. Yeah. So words, let's see. Um... You're keeping to the truth today. That's good, Tanya. Stuart, is, and I wanted to say, is this Barbara or Stuart? Because suddenly I realized, like, yeah, mm-hmm. So, hello, hi. Um, rise, gorgeous word. I put that in the email today. I hope you guys loved today's newsletter. If you get my happy mail, no worries if you don't or you don't read email. It's not about that it's about receiving but I spoke about how we are rising together those of us going through experiences those of us feeling um, certain things and noticing shifts that are happening like I mean holy cow you know there are things effortlessly shifting that I have been naming wanting to change and not knowing how and not knowing how to do it and you know um, there's nothing wrong with admitting that. I've already gotten a bunch of like, you know, advicey emails back, um, and that's fine. I'm just letting them be too. But we are where we are, and we're always awesome, always doing our best, you know? We are. And when, when a big shift happens, it is time to celebrate. What do you think? I do, so just so beautiful right so thank you rise is an amazing word and it's a word I love feeling the sensation of rising to know you know we're going to a higher floor or a higher octave as Paul Selig and the guides teach higher octave higher uh, upper room you know this experience of I am releasing I am letting it be. What's in the basement can stay there. I'm not going to bring it with me continually. Yeah, so good. So, rise. Honoring my soul. That's beautiful, too. Um, Josie, what? What did I do here? Uno momento, por favor. Uh, Wolverine is my favorite. No guesses why. No guesses. Uh, receive gorgeous good morning Debbie Alicia my word is repot learning from my African violence amen to that 
Um, I love that. Your plants are teachers. Plants are medicine. Obviously, they're their own kingdom, you know, energetically speaking. They have vibration. Some of the earliest energy um, studies have been done on plants where they can see, yep, a plant has an energy field. It really does. <laughs> and when you speak to it and when you give it love and you give it um, light and, you know, sometimes I use these uh tuning forks at the end of our healings. They can measure these under a microscope on plants as well, on the cellular structure of all kinds of things. It's so cool. So good for you, repot. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Roxanne, to trust my way. <sighs> See me handing you a bunch of stars through the screen right now. Enough. Hi, Allie. Enough. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's gorgeous. You are more than. Melanie, big love to number one. My word is choice. Ooh, yes. Possibility, Carrie. That's gorgeous. Oh, it is Stuart. Okay, awesome. Just double checking. Double checking. Number one husband asked this morning, too. Is Stuart going to be there? <laughs> Kind of cute. Artie, um, I love rise too. Artie, my word for the day is also the same as Melanie's choice. Look at you guys. That's great. Rocking it out. Trust, Caitlin. Beautiful. You want to get the letters from me, Roxanne? There's an easy way to sign up. I think here in the profile you can click... Um, happy mail and sign up. I love you to get them just once a week. <laughs> TJ, you've been thinking Paul Selleck like Magnum PI. Oh yeah, very different energy. Although they probably look very, you know, like energetically today, similar. And actually Paul is on Hawaii now. Speaking of Magnum, he's been kind of, uh, not stranded, but he, was teaching and got he can't go back to where he lives which is new york so big <laughs> experience there but yeah magnum and we like we like tom on uh blue bloods too always fun so are you guys like will she ever get to the message today <laughs> yeah so cheers and my word today trust has been um powerful for me, but truth has been, wow, game changer. So today I added in lush and trust because I think the first few days I was going with trust and I told you, like, I want to be honest in my moves. I want to be honest in my moves. I want to know why I'm doing the things I'm doing. And if it doesn't feel honest, I'm not doing it, which has been in the first few days hard because if you consider in a day if you pay attention in a day how many things you do out of loyalty sense of obligation sense of this is what a nice girl this is what a nice boy does this is the appropriate response you are going to see <laughs> that sometimes you choose to do things not honest and it doesn't mean you're sneaky you're sneaky or bad. It means you're not in alignment with your soul. Honest, you know? And I realize, like, holy crap, you know, so much of my experience has been about being the cosmic cruise director for everyone else at my own expense, you know? Sometimes I say on the podcast, I put myself in the tractor and I drive the tractor over myself at the same time. You know, it's like I know what I'm doing, but I still make the choice to run myself over in um, an attempt to be loving and kind and good, Roxanne, good. Welcome aboard, love. And I maybe somebody can forward you today's mail. You're connected to a few people here, or I can for sure, because I thought it was pretty good, um, according to Robin. Anyway, but so for me, yeah, tell the truth and trust and let your experience be lush. So lush for me is really like the first few days, it's scary to only do what's true for you. 
to, to do what's honest for you. It's frightening. There's some, okay, thanks, Tanya. There's some fear. There's some scared. You know, you worry, like I worry the kids will be mad at me. You know, if I don't want to get together, if I say I'm too busy or, you know, your friends who say get together. I'm hearing so many in session, like so many people are like, what's the big deal? They said the lockdown is easing. Let's get together. Well, if it's not good for you, there's that pressure point, you know, are you going to be honest? Are you going to be true to you? So that's kind of where I've been that's kind of where I've been with that. So, and now I'm in this energy of lush. It feels lush to be in charge of my day, to be free in my own way, <laughs> to be free in my day in my own way and play and absolutely trust that everything I say <laughs> is going to be true today. There, I rhymed it. Hello. <laughs> yeah. It is, that book is amazing. I'm on the Book of Knowing and Truth right now. I have all of the books and, um, oh my gosh, I adored I Am the Word. That was the first one. And just, you know, I always feel like that is the Christ consciousness coming through. So for me who loves Course in Miracles, this is another, um, and Course of Love and, oh my God, goodness gracious, you know way of the heart, way of mastery, so many things I've studied, but I realize it's always something channeled and it always feels like the same uh, group of vibes coming through. So beautiful. I hope you love that. Yeah. Good. Untamed by Glennon Doyle has been really good. She's awesome too. That's great. I love knowing that we're, we're receiving and practicing and it's good to know that you're doing that for your own benefit, you know? Carrie, I think you could dive in with either Love and Creation or the Book of Knowing and Truth. Are you gonna listen on audio? Yeah. If you're gonna listen on audio, which I think you are, I would say go with um, the free ones available now or the first three. Just look and see which one you love. Um, since you and I have known each other for as long as we have, you're going to totally be fine on the third one. We talk the same way. You're going to love it. So let me know. Yeah. So, you know, you guys are amazing. Look at you. All this love and support for yourself. Um, and also just, I feel for me that I choose to be surrounded by love. I the first 20 plus years of my life were not that, you know? And so I feel I'm still unwinding from a lifetime of not being loved and cared for and cherished and reflected, the truth reflected. I know a lot of you can relate. And um, so now receiving this joy, receiving this love is so important. So... Yeah. Good, Roshni. Good awareness right there. You know, a lot of us are doing things out of obligation or feeling the pull. And, you know, you don't need to, <laughs> this is kind of what I was talking about in the letter this morning. You don't need a 29 point plan as to how you're going to handle this. You need to know your wish, your new choice, your new intention, your new resolve. And Hold the line and if it's scary or you feel pressureful I'm not talking to anybody about but myself here um, if it feels pressury to make the moves you want to make then add something else in say a prayer ask for help help me I, I do it I'm like help me help me help me I will say that prayer. Help me, you know? Help me. Help me. And sometimes if it's really challenging, I can say, here, I give this person to you. And you know who the you is, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's just our practice. It's just our practice. So I was saying today the vibes were so powerful, so strong. Um, 
Do you know that song, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Jefferson? I wonder if they were Starship then. Yeah, this is 80s. Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now. Let them say we're crazy. I don't care about that. Put your hand in my hand, baby. Don't ever look back. Let the world around us just fall apart. Baby, we can make it if we're heart to heart. I recommend, thank you. I recommend we listen to that today. Listen to the lyrics today. Receive that energy today. You, I tell you this a lot, um, how you are on the leading edge. You are, hi Janet, um, you are on the leading edge in your circle, in your posse, in your family, most likely. You're the only one uh, standing where you are. It doesn't mean nobody else is doing their work. It doesn't mean any of that, you know? It means you are a light worker. You are a light sparkler. You are a light bringer. You are a way shower. You are a way maker. Miracle worker. That's another gorgeous song. Uh, Michael W. Smith. I think a lot of people sing it. It's a gospel, you know, song. Way maker. Miracle worker. Pathfinder, I think, Light in the Darkness. Um, we're on the leading edge, and sometimes it can feel a little bit easy to be wrapped up in how people think we're crazy. I share it with you all the time. I can feel defended about that. I can feel especially, you know, <laughs> each email I send, I know I'm going to get a certain amount of emails back giving me advice or telling me, um, that's okay, don't worry if you're feeling sad or this, or, you know, giving me advice I didn't want. But, um, but, because that part doesn't matter to me as much as the next part, but, Carrie, <laughs> and Carrie and I used to play with the butts and the ands. Um, but I'm learning to speak what I know to be true, to speak heart to heart with you, um, my friends on the, on the leading edges, and not be afraid, not be resistant. And, you know, what happens is that we... Oh, here comes Ziggy the gutter cleaner. You got anything in your, you got anything you want to clean out of your gutters? Hi, Ziggy. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is so cute. This is my favorite guy in the whole world. His name is Ziggy. He's from Poland. He has been cleaning our gutters and windows for 20 years. I love this man. We don't speak a common language, just a little bit. And um, last spring I was outside working. I'm always working outside, doing a lot of things. And he said, I help you. I help you, beautiful lady, I help you. <laughs> and I was like, you already do so much, so much. Just so sweet. So if you hear that, he's here. He's got the big ladder today. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so where I was, I did not lose my place. But, um, you know, if you worry that you're going to sound crazy, if you worry that people are going to give you advice, bad advice that you didn't ask for, if you worry that people are going to make fun of what you look like, if you worry that your art, think about, you guys are so many artists here right now. So many, uh, a lot of you are musically talented here. A lot of you want to share, you want to write your stuff, you want to do your things, you want to do these messages. If you allow that fear and the tension to be here, first of all, you stay in the basement with your message. You cannot go to the higher floor because you're carrying, you're holding on to that crap 
in the bag, the crap bag. <laughs> Did any of you watch Friends? Uh, when Phoebe decided to change her name, was it Phoebe Banana Hammock? And then Paul Rudd was like, well, then I'm going with crap bag. <laughs> anyway, you can't rise if you're carrying that energy with you. And if you try and push through with your letters or your messages or your lives or your, your course or your sales, you know, whatever you guys are, you guys are doing so many amazing things. There will be an energy of awkwardness with it. I don't know um, that that's what any of us wants. So this message today is about that. Let them call us crazy. I don't care about that. How can you embody this energy without being defended? You know, um, the light is in each of us. The light is in everyone, even the people who make fun of us or push back against us or they're just, you know, I always feel like they're trying to be loving, you know, they're trying to help. They're trying to be loving, but you don't, still, you don't have to dance with the energy. Still, you don't have to dance with the energy. Yeah, I hope that helps. I hope that feels helpful today. Um, so the last part where the song says, let the world around us just fall apart. You know, there's beautiful teachings. A lot of us, you guys have named all these different uh, books <laughs> and studies. Um, a lot of what we're learning is that the world of illusion, the world of Maya, um, these basement energies, they're vibrational illusion. It's a story I tell that continues to keep me in hell. So when I feel into let the world around us just fall apart, I feel into the world of illusion, the world of story, the world of fear, the world of, you know, just untruth, pressure, under pressure. Stuart and shine on you crazy diamond um, that's beautiful too such good music coming today isn't there um, so Carrie I've noticed that as one as the one in my family on the leading edge I project on them they'll think this is so woo-woo or they'll think I'm nuts and just that stops me to share or express myself with them so perfect timing of that message and Leisha you get that too so that's exactly what I'm talking about though. That's our illusion. And I thank you for being so straight about it. It's our projection. It's our projection, Allie. <laughs> you guys are all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our projection. Even if they've called you crazy a hundred times, even if they've said, don't shove your crazy woo at me. You know, I've been told a lot, you need to tone down your woo. You know, in those years that I was really thinking I needed to become someone big, you know, people would say, if you want to do that, you have to tone down your woo. And I was like, yeah, that's just like a non-negotiable because I don't even think I'm doing woo. <laughs> I see woo. I see what I would call woo. I don't even think I'm doing woo. I think I'm just doing me, you know, just being honest. So, but we project and then we expect, and we're always getting what we're putting out. So um, in the course, it says, I'm responsible for what I see. And everything I, that seems to happen to me, what they're saying, I have asked for by my expectations. So this world of illusion thing is so important. It's so important. Roshi's mentioning another song called Rise by Samantha James. Um, Tanya, today I'll envision others loving what I have to share. It's a game changer. And put us in the front row. You know, I noticed that um, a few of you are talking about receiving today and you've been posting about receiving. Um, then put us in the front row and receive that. 
you know, work on, work on that energy, put us there. You know, I, um, sometimes people come to me and I write to them. Sometimes I envision us and I write to us. So it's just so important. Yeah. So did I lose my card? I pulled a card for us today. I don't always, I usually just sit, you know, I'm super simple. Like I say, not a lot of extra um, things I feel I need to do to get guidance just because I am connected to God and I hear and receive and you do too. You do too. And I know you know that, but um, so sometimes it can be stressful if you think you have to have a lot of bells and whistles to offer the world can be really stressful but I do love this deck from Elena Fairchild um, the sacred rebels guidebook I what I'll do is take um, I don't know if you go on my Instagram stories all of you are on Instagram right now live listening so if you look up in my profile the stories I'll take a picture of this message today because I thought it was really amazing um, and basically relax the hold of darkness and be at cause and it's number 26 if you have that deck again I'll put it up you can look when we're done I'll put it up I'll put up the whole thing um, but the energy to me is exactly what I've been saying today you know let the world around you just fall apart. We can make it if we're heart to heart. Be at cause. You know, you are um, the one. You are the way maker. And if you're making your way in the day <laughs> with crappy things to say, don't wonder at the crap with which you play. <laughs> What is wrong with me today? <laughs> so, um, you know, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up today. Um, cause and effect is a huge thing. So if we don't like the effects of what we're seeing, we need to turn to the cause. Cause. So, pardon the noise. Ziggy just kicked on the leaf blower. All right. Well, lovelies, I have a healing session in four minutes. Let's do a little healing. Would you like? If it's not for you today, just do this one time and you'll be on your way. Just do that. Yeah. So this is going to the whole aura. The whole aura around you. There's an energy field around you. It's, it's big. The energy around you is big. Big, big, big swoops. I have to step way back. Big swoops like this. Big, big, big energy. And, um, okay, good. And it filters. Energy filters out from the smallest seed in the body all the way out through the field, through the chakras, nervous system chakras. Out, 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 out. There's a layer after layer after layer in your field. And, um, you know, it's always drawn in books like a rainbow, this field, a circular rainbow. But, you know, for me, I just, a lot of times we'll just see a few colors. So a lot of times there'll be a beautiful purple at the crown. And you may have had this too, where you see a white outline around people, especially when you're in an elevated state. Like you go to a conference or something and you look, you can see the light above people's heads sometimes. So, um... Yeah, so this auric field, it's a supply. It's this energetic supply for you. Yeah. Ziggy just waved, <laughs> Ziggy just waved at me. You guys, I am literally doing this out the window of the healing room and he is literally out front. You know, we're being bold, we're being empowered, we're just being ourselves, our beautiful selves, right? So, today, 
Be your excellence. Be your power. Be your truth. Be your way. And if you come to that place where you're like, I don't want to be the one weirdo. Are you in for miracles? Or are you in for playing it safe? Because you only get one or the other. You only get one or the other. That's it. So if you worry about what they're going to say, that's what you're going to get today. You're going to get affirmations. And you can still say, I did that. Holy crap. It's really true. I did that. You know? Yeah. So I hope you have a gorgeous day. And make sure I'm not late. But the person is on the call now. So hello. I will see you in a moment. <laughs> we can roll. Here we go. Big swoops. Big swoops for your whole field. May you be cleansed of any lesser vibrational energies today that, that you choose to be free of. I choose to be free. I want to rise with you. I want to fly like our little phoenixy selves. Where are we going? I don't know, but we're going to have a blast today. Okay. We're going to have a blast today. So these replays, they're on IGTV now. They go up to YouTube as well. And I would love your support in any way you feel called. Say a prayer for me. Shine a little light. Don't write and give me advice. That's okay. But <laughs> um, tell somebody, invite somebody. You know, you can make a donation if you if you have something to give. Buy a course if that feels good. Buy a coffee mug. A unicorn mug. Still figuring out the red bubble site, but it's there. All right. Beautiful. Have a blessed day. So much love to you.